roads out there. We've been, you know, getting some reports in. We're going to start off with a, a viewer picture that was just sent in. Uh, didn't didn't get the name on there. Um, she's in Torrington at the top of Burr Mountain. All right, so a little light dusting there, and you can see, uh, is, that, is that a dog that I see? Yeah, it's there? a dog. Yeah, she was letting her dogs out. And All right. I thought it was a fire hydrant. Snapped a photo. <laughs> Who let the dogs out? <laughs> woo, woo, Kareen did. Woo, woo, Kareen did. Yeah. Absolutely. So a little light dusting up there. Again, Burr Mountain, one of the highest elevations in Litchfield. So you just want to uh, just keep uh, keep an eye on things in the highest elevations of Litchfield as we move throughout the day today. Mm -hmm. Mike, it's wet and it's raining in Waterbury, as you can see there. It's all wet, not white. More of the same in New London. 45 degrees. That 45 degrees. I was just look at that temperature. That's that that's three degrees above our normal high. Right. 45. And it's 6:45 in the morning, and then this. This came in earlier this morning, Mike. This was our breaking news this morning in the Weather Center. Uh, we are expecting that easterly wind, the strong, persistent east wind, to pull some extra water into the Long Island Sound. Coastal flood advisory, 2 o'clock to 6 p.m. today. And this is for the immediate shoreline. Typical trouble spots, low-lying areas right along the Connecticut shoreline. Uh, and that's where we could see just some minor flooding issues. We are not expecting any major flooding issues, not from coastal flooding nor from the rain. Now, the timing on this nor'easter here, the reason we have an alert in place is because this could have impacts to both this morning's and this evening evening's commute. For most, this is a primarily rain event up to an inch of rain or even more possible. The Northwest Hills, only the highest elevations could see up to six inches of snow elsewhere, expecting just a couple of inches to stack up. Wind will pick up later on today too, expecting gusts to 40 miles an hour or so at the shoreline. Winter storm warnings still in effect here for Litchfield County, but this is really just going to be elevations at or above about 1,000 or 1,500 feet. North and west, though, certainly a different story. Scott and I have been uh, looking at uh, the, some of those snow that's been ongoing in the Berkshires. We'll show that in just a second. Wind advisory still in effect for the entire Connecticut shoreline. Again, that's where we're highlighting the potential for some outages. Look at these gusts. Scott, look at this. Yeah, 24, 30 miles an hour, 30, now a 30 mile an hour wind gust in Chester, 23 in Willimantic, 20 in Meriden, 24 in Waterbury. It's, it's a very windy start. Yeah. And it's going to be a windy day today as we move. You can see the wind gust trend here in the uh, mid to upper 30 mile an hour range. And there could be some 40 plus mile an hours along the immediate shoreline, especially in southeast Connecticut. Inland will be a tad better. We're talking about between 30 and 40, uh, but it'll be a little bit better. Now, Mike, we've downgraded the snowfall totals, a coating in the shaded area of white, one to two inches in the lighter blue, and then as much as three to six, again, in isolated areas of the highest elevations of Litchfield County. There's Torrington. Got a little bit of uh, wet conditions as we take a look at the TJ Maxx Plaza. But, Mike, there, temperatures are going to be a little bit cooler, but still above the freezing mark. Right. We're looking there, uh, you know, our, our day planner on the WFSB weather app, which is free. Which is a great download, great resource to have. You can track showers just like this on the palm of your hand, showing the temperatures will be generally above freezing for most of the state. But it's a very different story. The early warning pinpoint Doppler here across the Berkshires right now, highlighting snow. Not a great time to be driving out the Mass Pike through the Berkshires. But for us at home in Connecticut, mostly rain. Let's take a look at this shower here in Fairfield County. Some heavier rain expected through Redding, Ridgefield, and north to Bethel and into Danbury. We can zoom in even further here. Chat about, uh, we've got Limestone Road right here underneath some of the heavier rain. We've got Marchand Road, Redding Road. These all likely dealing with some ponding on the roadways as these heavier showers build in. Some breaks, some lulls in the rain too. And this is going to be the case throughout the day today. So at the bus stop this morning, certainly recommending umbrellas. Recess today, probably going to be uh, indoors, especially with these showers continuing. Look at these. Much, so look much at milder. This. Look at this. 17, 20 degrees above where we were 24 hours ago. Pretty amazing. Yeah. Today's daytime time highs climb into the upper 30s low 40s if they're not already there and then your seven day forecast looks like a good weekend but what's that what's, what's that, that Scott? yeah well that's oh it's winter it arrives at 447 oh that's not what you're talking about you're talking about <laughs> thursday into friday as we could be dealing with yet another storm system uh the models are starting to pick up on that we'll certainly keep you posted but uh in the meantime let's get through today the wet and windy weather continues and then it looks like a nice weekend all right roll it